What's up, everybody? This is the Poker Coaching Study Session, and today we're going to be doing big blind defense against the button at 40 big blinds. Let's go. This looks like an attractive raise. This is yeah. some frequency. The, yeah. the, the GTO score will be called, but it will raise some. Sure. Yeah, two checks for the uh, call, one check for the raise. Look at this. It's almost I'm just saying, if for your score, optimal score, it's called, but uh, it raises. Almost all the line here. Look at this. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you how GTO Wizard scores. That's why. The only reason why I mentioned that. If you three bet, you got to bet this flop, I think. So three bet, C bet. Yeah. Uh, what five. size? Five. I would lean small personally with the 30 effective. As long as you bet. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I'm torn. We have a pair now, so I kind of want to check. Uh, I think maybe even rip because we are got SPR one. We got a pair uh, with it over and a redraw. For me, whenever the flush complete in a three bet pot and we're the aggressor, it's not good for us. We have a six. We have a hand that is going to struggle against a raise on the turn. This Maybe is we go super small. Uh, the, for if you me, go super the, small and get ripped on, what do you do? Call. Like maybe 25%. You call it off, right? Yeah. Like you can't fold. You I don't know, man. You're going to make money when you head towards that alley. I think you want yeah, to have equity with an SPR one at this point. You got a good hand. You don't want to get bluffed off it either. Yeah. Feels yeah, like you're, you're, uh, you're feels fine. like you're showing up with thirty percent or worse. You can you bet ten percent if you want. See, it's betting so small that it's gonna probably call up the race. I guess. I don't, I don't know. know, man. You should explore that node. I think it's no, interesting. I, I don't. You think? I'm never betting her. <laughs> I only yeah, do I think, because I have the spade. I, I like. To I guess what I'm. Uh, I guess what I'm saying is, if you bet small and you get ripped on, I don't know the answer. Is uh -huh. um, but like my instincts would say fold. That's the only reason I would suggest looking at it. When we get three yeah. we call because it's a three bet pot. We have a pair and we have extra equity. On the turn. Yeah, so do this like little silly micro size. Seven. Oh, I want to go. Want to go three? It wanted to go ten percent, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go. You gotta go the really small size. Then he goes in. Think we call. Yeah. Yeah, you just call. You're actually making pretty good EV. Pretty yeah. good. It's not even close. Yeah, because you might be ahead, but then you have what fourteen outs to improve. I'm torn between. I was thinking maybe you kind of rip it in his face sometimes, but you got a pair, so I guess you're just trying to get it to show down. Pretty bad turn. Now we have a really fun node to play. Check yeah. or block bet. No, uh, it went the bet on the turn. We can't block that. Yeah, yeah. Let him barrel. Let's go. It's a three bet pie. I just don't see you. Uh... All right. Well, I don't know. You're probably supposed to bluff catch this at some frequency. Yep. Yeah, you, hold, you hold the king of spades Ugh. block value. Yeah. Good. We're good. Oh my god. That's... We are good. Wow, we got some lost. <laughs> what is king? How does he make it to the river with that hand? The tree bet the sea bet. He's well, two two overs and a flush draw. Yeah. I guess we call this. Oh, really? Yeah, let me low frequency. I don't have this one in my arsenal. Yeah, it's their low frequencies all up and around that area. Jack 8, King 8, or 10, 8. Jack 7, stuff like that, I think. Call. In fact, I used Jack 8 yesterday. Uh, we don't need to. It's a King I board. We can overfold it a little bit. Probably. It's just a really small bet. And we Probably wrap around the 7. seven and then we have a spade, though. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. Ten of spades slightly and, better. And we and we have a backdoor straight door yeah. open. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean by wrapping around the seven. Yeah. You're crazy a little bit. Yeah. 
Nice to four. It's because it actually, it's because it's a, do, a good double barrel candidate because you're going to pick up equity a lot of times. Yep, I think you're right, Pete. It actually raises quite a bit there. Yeah, uh, you go for a raise. Like a raise when you think about it. So you, you pick check. up a state, you bet. You pick up a nine, you bet. You pick up an eight or a ten, you check. Six bet. Yeah. Spade bet. So I don't yeah. think we get to lead. I don't I don't think we lead. We might, but I don't I don't find it. You check okay. holds. I so think this check again. Uh just check it, man. Yeah, check call. I mean he's not gonna value bet at nine, right? Bet one. No. Uh, that's one. Blocking bet. He checked through your block bet. Yeah, but I've try, I always try to think what worst calls. So, like, I don't mind bluff catching there. They're going to be similar to EV. Call. Check raise. <laughs> Barrel turn now. What side? All right. So, two tone, a lot of it's a really doesn't, unstable doesn't board here. Yeah. I, I think you probably 55. I go 55. Yeah, you, that's my default you, size on a double flush combo board for some reason. That's just by default. I um, wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if we go a little bit bigger here. We really been is, folds. We check raise on the flop, so we just check he should play back with a lot of kings right on the flop against our check raise. So right, but all on double kings should be clicking. So now on double suited boards, you're supposed to lower your bed a bit. That's like, not necessarily true. What? Oh, that's all right. Where do you Matt, get that from? Joe? I'm getting. I got that from Matt Affleck lesson I watched two weeks ago. Oh, nice. I mean, I there see are, a lot. There, That's there, why my default's fifty-five. There, there I, are I situations. Know. There are situations. It polar. A better explanation would be it polarizes. You have some very big bets here, and then you have yeah. some small bets. Because in my mind, when the heart comes like this, we just polar even more. Where you say, Joey, that it's it's lowering our frequencies. If you had a flush draw here to go with this, I think you would have some like absolutely massive sizings yeah, with a hand like yeah. this. Over I, the SBR is a thing too. Like if we go seven, if we go almost eight here, the SBR is less than one on the river. So like your bluffs are going to struggle uh, mm -hmm. if you make it much smaller. I mean, you make the SBR much lower. You really can't bluff. I, I don't think you ever bet 17. It's either 55 or 83. Then eight of hearts, I would always go up. You should be going quite large with 10 native hearts. You know, like, I feel like jamming this turn is kind of silly, but I'm kind of curious if the solver actually does ever jam parts of its range. So my guess, here's my reasoning here. He would play back his kings against our check raise on the flop. So he probably more has like a hand like that want to continue, like a spade. Oh, I guess some stuff. So, a weak, a weak so king. A weak king, spade mm -hmm. stuff. So I get uh, that range. We can put a lot of pressure. What do you think he does with a king, uh, king x of spades, or like ace king spades, king queen spades, king jack spades? I think they all just on the flop. I wouldn't. No, I think they all race on the flop. Yeah. But maybe I mean, not when pure, you are, I was gonna say when you're in position, like your whole range doesn't always raise with the top of its value. He should still be relatively uncapped here with a few exceptions. Yeah, he's, he has a good king with good redraws. I don't think he needs to raise. And There's he's, like he's a buffing. million better hands that is going to fold for 11. Well, that's true, Louis. I agree. Like, um, I'm, oh, I'm was, advocating for a larger size here, I would say. 55%. It was seven. All right. Yeah. I mean, I, I was right in the start, and then I let you guys talk me so up. Joey, I stuck in my guns, Joey. Why again, what you learned from that? Huh? Tell us what you learned from that. Maybe it applies here. He was saying uh, don't get large. It, 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 basically, the way I look at it is when a double flush board, you figure out what – like I would have bet 83 if it was like nine of clubs. But the double flush, I bring it down one step. So I go from like 83% to like 60%. There is some, so it goes, if the double flush draw isn't there, it does prefer some of the larger sizing a bit. Yes. 
So, yeah, yeah, I've been using the 55 as a default there, but that had a lot to do with the SPR as well. If you make this 80, you might find your larger bets. So when a double flush drop comes in like this, we don't necessarily size up. It actually sizes us down. Look at it at a deeper, deeper stack. Yeah, there. well, I, I think, so, yeah, what Ken's saying is I think some of that is a function of the uh, stack like the pot ratio. Yeah, the stack depth here as well. If you okay. played with that one way or the other, I think you might get some larger bets. I but, see the larger bets are probably for deeper stacks. Look at this at 80. Makes sense. Maybe even like we, shallower stacks. Like no, you may I just get jams. deeper because deeper or backdoor gains gains kind of value, right? Whereas shorter. Oh, I think I think both is kind of the thing. Like if oh, you have okay. an SPR, if you have like twenty five big blinds or let's say thirty big blinds, okay. like uh, the bet sizings get kind of goofy. I mean, maybe it goes just smaller and smaller. Yeah, I don't you know. just look; it's so much easier. I agree. <laughs> So it, it actually just pushes, it just pushes them smaller. If you go here, there is some jamming, like some of it gets kind of big, but not really. Look at 80 now. I would guess Ken's right about 80. You're just going to have some, you want to lower the SPR. Does it not one of the sort of See, rules if you're you putting go. in a third of your stack, you're as well going all in? Uh, oh. No, that's that's something that Jonathan used to teach before he started studying GTO. I haven't heard yeah, him. Yeah. I haven't heard him say that since he started studying GTO. So okay. here you go. Okay, now so you... it's a thing at deep stack. Yeah. All right, forty-ish when it comes. Well, oh, you got I mean, I think <laughs> I don't know. This is this is a uh, crap wow. situation all the way around, right? It's not fold. It's not fold. Well, oh. I'm, I, run through the math real quick. Okay, so <laughs> it's going to cost you 10 big we lines got... to hit your draw. 10 to I win think. 50. I think that's pretty yeah. pretty close, right, Joey? Pretty we're going yes. to win probably 16% then, of the time. And then, and then when we hit, and then when we hit, we'll get the rest of the stack. I we I'm not counting good. on my 10 or 8 being good very often, so I think we need uh, – I think we need – I know. We're just strolling to the straight. I think we're short and, on equity. Yeah, uh, we're short by 4% in equity. We're short by 4%, uh, but we'll make that up on the river bet when we hit. But, Joey, sometimes even our straight outs are not good because of the flush. So yeah. it could even be less than 16%. And a jack, we could lose to a bigger straight. So I guess we have the and solver then, solution. And, it, and then you never know. Sometimes 10 might um, show yeah, down. It might be good, right? The 10 might be good. So it might. Yeah. might you, have, you have some 30 outs, but if he's bluffing, hitting a 10, can win the head. Let's see what the machine says. So let's call. Yeah. It actually has enough equity to jam 0.4% of the time. It's just a miserable spot. You block bluffs too, which is crazy. Louis, I, you're I wasn't you're, I wasn't uh convinced. You guys almost talked me out of it, but close. I thought the math worked out. It's close. Yeah. <laughs> you're such so, Louis, you're such a nit. I know, right? But I feel like I have 10 high and my opponents are never trying to get me here when they raise the turn. <laughs> Yeah, dude, this is miserable. I, I well, now spot. we got an eight. What do you do? Now you, now you, gotta go, you gotta check call. I guess. You gotta go broke. Check call, we have a spade. I don't think you can fold now. Mm, you're blocking straight. <laughs> you got a pair. I don't know, dude. Oh my god. You probably gotta call this. <laughs> the eight? You guys are insane. <laughs> That's why I fold turn. <laughs> So with this paid, I want to like it with this price, like it's tough to say, yeah, we got to fold, right? We block the right, Are you right 30% of the time? I, uh, I mean, no, it kind of sucks. Okay. So it tends blocking a lot of the combos we want him to have. A spade's blocking some combos we want him to have. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm I'm you, you don't, have a, you don't <laughs> have a heart. You have to call. You only have to be right about 18% of the time with your pot odds. Yeah. You got call 16. The pot's going to be 100 after the call. 
Yeah, so this guy's gonna be has enough 81. for us to, to to call here, right? With the ten yeah. and blah blah blah. But I so just, what do you think about this? Always do we is the ten good or bad? Because we're blocking the nuts right now, but it was like an obscure line to get to the nuts, right? Like I don't know how many jack tens he's gonna have here that yeah, no. raise you on the raise you on the turn. I'm in it. I'm I'm out of here. <laughs> you you are don't Louis don't yeah. <laughs> you gotta now, look, at the, look at the EV loss. So it is like pretty razor thin, but uh, I don't paid. think you need to fight for these. Yeah, that's to be honest. change the move and see what he has. Let's rabbit it. Ken's got Ken's got to know what the computer got him with. <laughs> yeah. Well, I called. I want to see if I'm a fish, and I am. Just the set of mine, so you can. His raise makes a lot of sense. Yeah. All right, that's oh, that's not as easy anymore. It's all right. You yeah. still, yeah. It's a uh, it's a king. You got blockers to the flush. I think you bet small still a lot. Bet small, yeah. All over. Oh, that's big. Fifty percent. I mean, that's kind of big. Three bet pot. Uh, static board didn't really change much. Blocking both flushes, I wonder if we ever continue barreling. I think we got a pair of queens. We'll probably just check. Yeah, yeah I like check. No, nope. no, it wants to bet. Um, it'd be interesting to look at the combos. If you have the one unblocking the flushes, if it puts the brakes on or not. I don't think yeah, so. The double blockers barrel, huh? I think it's just second barrel going for value, no matter so, what. So you're right. Yep, that's the overriding component. Actually, double blockers is bad comparatively. Like, look at the one without the blockers. It size like up a, but without. Yeah, it goes kind of bananas. You just jam without. Yeah, in in a three bet pot, where you have the best kings and he has the worst kings, a king is a really good card for you here. And so, yeah. this is just a hand you get to put a lot of pressure on him with here. So, it yeah, wanted to bet it, big on the flop. So when you miss, when you take the low bet on the flop. It it really reminds you that you need to bet big on the turn. Oh, when you bet easy. small on the turn, it reminds you you need to jam the river. I don't have this triple and off in me with uh, under pair when I get called twice. I just don't. I can't do it. Oh look, King Jack never would have guessed. Never would have well, guessed. Like here now, he has King Jack in, but he, what did what does he do with like a, just a Jack here? And if say it's like a ten. Okay, what is what does he do with this 10? Say it's a low card, what does he do with this nine? He has to, yeah. I mean, I guess they call, nine. yeah. Revisiting uh, the concept we kind of were visiting uh, a couple hands ago about raising in position. Notice he's got top pair with the flush draw, and he was not raising because he had the flush draw without the flush draw. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I mentioned earlier when you had the king. I said, a, a lot of kings with redraws well. that are not going to want to raise. You can raise this combo at some frequency. Yeah, it's, I think just a raise. All in That's sometimes. Raise. I mean, all in. Uh, Jack, nine, four. Not good. I like just betting this, I think. What, like five big blinds? Yeah, it's not a good board. Yeah, not great for us, right? Um, four pairing isn't great, but the heart is good. I think that might be enough evidence to keep barreling. We get folds from queen 10. I feel like abandoning ship, but hearts. I think the heart may be enough. Big heart. Uh, I don't know I'm if you need to go that big ship as well. We're in a three bet pot here. If the flush competes, it's good for him. It's not good for us. I jumped. I'm in the water. Abandon ship. Yeah. No. Oh. All in. All in. in. You feel so punty. Yikes. Well, this I is mean, how you got to play these hands when you three bet them, I guess. That, well, that's, that's what I was about. That's what I was about to say, Ken. Like, if you're choosing to three bet these hands, and you know, <clears throat> you end up in a spot like this where, you, like you said, it feels punty. All right. Um, All right. We'll do that. Probably, probably should no just flat them or fold them. Right. Easy. Three bet days, five off. She got flop jam turn. No problem. <laughs> you should uh, you should look at the line when you check flop. I'm never checking flop. It's a three bet pot. 
well, the PR agent might have something to say about that. <laughs> I don't know, though. I I almost always see bet after I three bet. So yeah, I do, too. I do, too. It's betting almost range. What are you going to do then? You're just in a different ballpark. When you say almost range, you 70. mean 70% oh. of the time. Yeah. He bets everything here. Yeah, he's five off bets, almost pure. And then you just fold? Or you I don't know. I, I I like to know how to play these spots because if you don't yeah. know how to play them, when you have somebody playing this way against you, well, you're gonna make mistakes. Three bet if you three if you go with the three bet, I think you should bet it and then probably double barrel it. And then if you don't just call it three flop, no. Yeah, I mean I like that advice to be quite honest. So now what? Check, check. We should, we're not supposed you to. Check you, I think you just jam here. Ah, uh, we're in a no man's land anyway. So what do we do here? On the top. I said in. that. I would probably. I don't know if I would have found the all in. Okay, go all in. Let's see what he has. I never oh. would have found the all in. He has a nine. Ouch. GTO score, Ken. Are you keeping up with the score? Hey, you should replay the hand as a check. All right, just call it this time. Oh, my God. He wants to no, wait, no, we wanted, check I'm sorry. We wanted a three bet and then check the flop. That okay. was the difference. You want to do that? Well, let's play this one out. Here. Play it out. Play yeah. it out first. Well, you can play oh. this one out. <laughs> there we go. Check. I want to see if we get the check raise. We get to lead a little bit here, a sliver. Yeah, I mean, it's a rainbow board, Ken. You probably do check raise some. I just don't know if you want to have the ace. Yeah, yeah small bet. Let's Definitely. raise and see what happens. Upper Dangler to the pair card with the ace, with everything. This is party. Or not. I just don't think it likes the ace in your hand. Give up? Wait, no. Did we raise? Yeah. Yeah. I think we keep going now. I don't hate it, Chuck. Where do you want to go, Joey? To hell in a handbasket. I would check. check. We I like check. Well, we don't have hearts. Does he defend back doors versus a check raise? Probably not. Yes. So the hearts he are probably like relevant. like 10 plus every time. What do you think yeah. he's doing with king, queen of hearts when you check raise him on that flop? I think he's falling. falling. I think he's falling. He's, dude, he's got a call. He yeah, has so to call. This is, this is it's, a, it's a gross, gross overfold if you're folding. I, like I would call spades and fold hearts. I just call the one suit with the top card, and then I fold the rest of the shit. I don't know how you make that distinction. Because I don't want to call them all. And then we call. That's yeah, I, I like this line. I like playing uh, check or block. Yeah. And then we don't fold. Yeah, you call. Like, you played an ace so passively. That this is a great trap at this yeah. point. Maybe we won sometimes. Not this time. Not this time. <laughs> Which the big yourself. lines defend, the button's defending range versus the check raise. Yeah, you should look at that. So, like, I, it's going to be all suited broadways, I think, that have back doors. Yeah, you got to go back to the flop node. Give him a little checky raise. He's sticky. All suited broadways. Plus, it's even more than that, to be honest. Like, it's, oh, yeah, he's, he's not folding. <laughs> he's a little, I'm not even folding off. Yeah. On, on a board like this, he has to stay in with a lot of his, a lot of his draws are the two overs. You see where the folds are coming from? The folds are coming from his offsuit trash that he's opening. That's like it. And like these fringy high low Threes and twos that are, that are unders to the four for some reason. Well, so the threes and the twos, I think, are bad because you're blocking critical bluffs. Right. Like if he's not bluffing with his threes and if you're blocking threes and deuces, it's going to push him towards value, which makes, well, defending kind of worse, right? Yeah. You see the same behavior with fives and sixes here. But I, I also had oh never mind. We'll One of my check raise and we. 
See, he, he, he Louis believed you. He he mm. jammed so quick. <laughs> Let, let's move on. Let's move on. He doesn't want this. Let's move on. Stay oh. Out of oh. <laughs> oh my god. So I would almost be tempted to check race this. Check this? Yes. Nice I would not. Nice I would what? I I would check what? race this all day. I well what? so I'm the thing about it is, it's not a great one because we have an undercard to the five, and it is King High, which is going to pull down our check race frequency at some. But I would not be surprised to see a combo like this getting in there, especially versus nine small six. Nine six. Nine, nine six. six is the thing. The this thing that makes me not want to this one, one is that uh, throw that one out. You can never make a straight, no matter what happens. You know, whereas no, like, but you can make straight. You can make straight bluffs. So, like, if a three comes, it's still a go card. If a six comes, it's still a go card. I mean, you can think, always bluff, man. You, you, you always have the option to bluff. I think we could get away with this one because the king of spades is out there. So that blocks the high flush. So the value of our low flush kind of goes up a hair. So I'm okay with the spades here. Uh, did it like it? I don't know. 30%. Like it. Hey, look at there. Folds. Oh, there's it's a big raise. Look at this. 50%. Well, I think it's because he chose such a small size. How does it never fold? Yeah. It folds for sure. Well, it's because we're playing GTO, Ken, not KTO. You have to raise bigger because you're trying to generate fold equity. Um, well, I think that's true too. All right, so, I mean, you, plus you raises. Card, you got to bluff this card. One like thing, are, all right, go ahead. All right, one thing everybody thinks is you you raise based on multiples of what their sizing is, but you should raise based on the total pot size. All right. So my initial flaw here would be to go either eleven or seventeen because we turned the back door and I'm happy. That's it's too big. Joey. Joey. No, no, no. This isn't a double. This isn't a double flush board. Ah. I'm I'm kind of in camp. Um. I'm, Maybe some 11 sometimes, but I like seven and a half, I think, or seven, seven, five. No, I take 11. 11 and a half. It's 11 and a half. Okay. okay. Just a smooth sizing. We get a nice size on the river. Makes a lot of sense. And, you know, we just get a much better hand to fold. Uh, I think we just call this combo. It raises a smidge. Uh, we can release. Do we ever raise this? Is it too good? I think nah, we nah, just nah. Call. Um, too good. slightly just too call. good. Yeah, it was starting to come in there, like maybe some queen eight. It's queen seven for sure. Um, trace. It may. It's going to mix. I think. I think I, it's going to heavily mix. Probably that, prioritize calling. Yeah, this might be a call. This Almost is always raised. I mean, the so twos aren't the most. We mostly defend by raising. We have a good kicker. This is as good of a raise as it gets. The only is it, is pocket it, twos drive yeah. the frequency down but, a little bit, but I'm still raising. Louis, what's the um, what's the cutoff for your queens to seven? Seven. Raise, you can raise all of them some frequency, probably. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I'd be around tens. Two tight join. I think uh, the tens are going to be doing a lot of um, three betting pre, so I just don't know how much frequency you have of those. It was but mostly calling, to be honest. It, yeah, yeah, it's not wrong. It is a pretty heavy frequency call. And sevens is kind of the cutoff I, there with queens, right? Like, look how the frequency doubles basically past that, and then it increases pretty linearly. So like yeah, so, yeah. So like sevens are about sevens are about as profitable as the fives are to raise. Yeah. Queen seven off and queen five off. It's quite a bit different with kings if you look though. Kings are quite interesting. How it like prioritizes almost inversely, which is kind of weird to me. I guess it's because they get so many so many sizes. Yeah. They size up, they use the worst ones. And they're going to double if they hit their low card pair, probably. Yeah, well, it's kind of it's kind of weird because, game. like, I mean, the getting better better combos to fold, you could apply the same logic to the queens. Yet it's like, you know, put them 
put a check raise in the size the Kings uses and then make the turn like a six and see if they double barrel with this second pair. What do you mean? I uh, want to see if they, yeah. when we check raise and a six hits, there's our like King six double barrel. I think it does, right? If we check raise King six on a queen oh. deuce deuce, no. I, I don't think we oh, just check. I don't think we had this as a check raise. Right but if the I thought it was in the check raise range. Yeah. Was yeah. It? It, it it was but it, it is but when six, when you hit a six you have a marginal made hand exactly. you don't want to but if the king oh. comes if the king comes it's gonna bet for sure no yeah I, i'm talking bs don't don't listen to the last two minutes of what i said it makes no sense <laughs> i was gonna the say king, also, the I... kings are different the kings are different because there's not a pair of kings as opposed to the queen yeah yeah, yeah there you go i was going in for the same thing I was I was looking at it like well it doesn't make any sense but it does. Board ship, a board mission. I think you check checking is probably good here. Oh, we can not, uh, bet. We're, we're not a boarding mission now. Wow, well, we're not gonna board, but we're gonna. No, the the mission is uh blast blast off. We're we're slowing down, oh. you know, pumping the brakes. But we're not. You gonna... got a call. Oh, look at this! You actually do fold some. Hmm. Um. Do you ever Night. block? No. Good night, Irene. No, I say it might be check bold now, P. I'm definitely oh. folding. Irene oh, is scamming yeah. us. It, you, if you actually got uh you got bailed out there a little bit. Yeah, the king got scary, right? It got scary <laughs> for things. Yeah, he uh he pumped the brakes instead of just taking all your chips. I like calling here. Well, he got the value on the turn. He went kind of big on the turn, right? He did. Um, okay, so we have a two-tone board, and we got bottom two pair. I First, a very small bet. I do prefer calling, but I think versus that sizing, we are going to have some raising here. No, I would, if you're going to raise, you got to raise 5.9. I would, yes, I would agree with Joey. When they put out a small bet, you can't raise small. You got to put, you're, you're raising to put money into the pot. Yeah. Um, now your range so wants to bet they're small. This is a trash term for us. Um, <laughs> if we check raise, I think we. Still oh, I think it's going. a very good, very good turn for our range. Yeah, we're probably we're we're quite protected. I would say you can probably small. get away with a small, small bet. Yeah. Oh, it's even going big. It, it likes a bigger bet, actually. Wow. Wow. And the ah, worst man. card in the deck. We block all the full houses, though, that we don't big actually flag. have very much of three big guns do we ever just bluff jam this no i'm i'm check folding okay we can block bet what is it gonna do i Any like uh i like checking or jamming i'm block betting here but what's he gonna call with that we beat nothing but we uh, slow down yeah you want minutes. you want folds you don't yeah. want calls at all <laughs> it might have some block bets because you have some well, other hands you can put in your block bet range so no, it might do it if you if you're going to block bet it, block bet and thin value are the same exact thing now I'll, you, uh, joey you have to have some nuts in your block bet range some other hands oh i'm not saying you don't oh. but if you're going to bet ten, block bet or thin value you have to have some hands in his range that he's going to call that you still beat. All right. Yeah. Let's check. Oh, look at Louis. Louis had it. I was wrong. Yeah. No, no, no. Check is right. It's still better to check. No, 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 no. I, I was saying it's either checking or all inning. And oh. Louis found the um. The three? Oh, okay. The three. Yeah. It, yeah. The problem is LP, as we know, has no nutted hands in his block bet range because he 10x pots those. <laughs> so that's the exploit against him. When he block bets, you just fucking put him in hell because <laughs> he's unprotected. Damn, please, please. You're giving away. Uh, Don't give it all secrets. away. You give so, it all away. We've been watching for two years. Yeah. Fold. This one, we have a queen. Maybe you call. That's it. He's never streaming again. Never. I want to play against him. You don't have to worry about me. I will never strategically recover from this. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Call. I will never strategically recover from this. Oh, 
check. Call. Oh. Do we back? bluff? Yeah. Do we bluff? Yeah. It's not even a bluff, really, man. It's I think it's just oh. controlling the pot. The it, it, flop goes check, check. We have second fair. We bet small. Do you bet small again or do you check here? Bet small again. It's a five. Oh. Actually, you just go for value. Know. Kind of turning it into like a semi bluff, it feels like. No, no, it's value. It's ah. You're targeting the, like ace highs the, and the five. Like the five actually protects our kicker because now we have two pair with a jack kicker. Oh, yeah, I understand why we bet five because if we have a five in our range, that's what we're going to do. So the six are mixing in there. Apparently. And the jack are going to bet big as well here. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Our fives are going to want to bet big, right? I'm not going to bet small with a five here. When he's our five wants to bet big. Our yeah. jack wants to bet big. The only thing that doesn't is a six. Yeah. So it's blend. Uh, do we ever just jam this? I call some. A lot, actually. Nope. Ooh. Not. No, it's a right. I thought the it's shooter one's called some. Is it ace queen calls, ace jack raises? Which one? You're, <clears throat> you're right, Ken. It's just it's versus a button range. You have to be wider versus the button. Like, if it was the cutoff, I wouldn't be. I think you'd be correct. 40, I think ace queen suited must uh, call an ace jack raises. I'm pretty sure that's, let me see, it's one of those. I weird think you're spots. too tight. It's not uh, calling the, ace queens. I, against the wide range, you're going to, you're going to three bet a lot more value. For value, right? Yeah. Like ace jack and ace 10 are going to be value raises there. See, this is, this is the wild card right here, Louis. Like when you say like you three bet, you always see bet. Mm -hmm. Like. I, I, I face yeah. this sometimes. Well, would where... you like to see Ranger? Because our combo... Oh, I, I understand what the range greatly does. Yeah. I know the general motion. I mean, look at this. That, okay, actually, 60%. It's that's checking more than I 60%. I thought we were going to have like 30% checks. This is double what I anticipated. That's a very wet board. So if you C bet, you three bet C bet this one large, right? Uh, not really. The C bet's about half pot. Oh, we already have the solution there. Mm. Well, that's kind of large in a three bet pot. Half pot's kind of large. It's a low SPR. So why would you check the, these combos? They get that. We don't really get better ace to fold, right? So that's how many hit. We don't get a better flush draw. We only get worse flush draws to fold. I think the question is why on this board do we have such a big checking range? We have to, we have to determine which boards um, so I are, think it's are exceptions to this three bet, C bet guideline. This just smashes his range, his defending range versus three bets. The button defends really wide, and he just has a whole lot of stuff that wraps around all these cards. Yeah, I learned a fancy term yesterday. It's got poor equity stability, meaning that, go. like, the nuts on the flop are often not going to be the nuts on the river. So, Even on the turn. Yeah, right. they, have, they have another word for that dynamic. So yeah, yeah, it's saying the same thing. I, I'm too old. To, I'm too too old to learn new terms. <clears throat> we'll we'll stick with uh, the one you're comfortable with. <laughs> Dynamic. Thank you. You're very well. What what, what what was it? What what did you call it? Um, it's got poor equity stability. Poor <laughs> equity stability. <laughs> the BBZ's got to come up with new fancy terms because they charge a lot of money. <laughs> they charge you, a lot of money. How did you know, kid? How did they you charge know? Because they charge a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay, so I see a clear pattern here. The two Broadway on the board, we check it out. What's the function of the flush draw? Well, there's Queen 10 9 rainbow where we do a lot of check. Flush draw makes it size up. Size up. What Size is that? up. No, no, no. With regards to the checking frequency, I I see some rainbow boards that are still checking a lot too. It might be the two two Broadway. <clears throat> I 
Like whenever we have two Broadway, we check like 50% of the, the problem time. is that this shallow versus the button, the calling range has way too many Broadway uh, combos. But it, it's not all okay. too broad. Yeah, I it, think I do agree. Uh, so like, you know what a, an interesting heuristic to look at here, Louis, would be like, if you if you pump up the um, the, the effective stack to like more deeper stack, I think it'll be a more, it'll be a strategy you're probably more, I guess, used to. You'll probably have you know, more the, checks even because the button will have less jams. Well, the button's going to, the button calls super wide versus the blind. So he's got great board coverage on these type of flops. Uh, it's a little less shallower because he's got four bet shapes. Right. Yeah. So, um, Sawa, that's exactly kind of what we've been tiptoeing around here a little bit is, um, you know, when we say it's a really dynamic board or like it has poor equity stability or oh, wait, whatever hold, fancy terms, hold it on just the means high that end. both players have um, a lot of well, draws here. Like, if you look at the here for, Every ace high board, okay? They're all pretty good, but not the ace king board. Okay, it's really ace king. We check 50% of the time. As soon as it comes ace queen, ace queen here, we, we already bet a lot more and more and more and more. So it's really like if it comes ace king on the board, we don't bet as often. So that's for the ace high board. So we bet everything, but not ace king board. And for king eye boards, seems to be like king queen boards. So buttons probably like defending king seven suited when you three bet, you know. So he's just got a lot. He's got all. He's got a lot of aces, a lot of kings. Obviously, he's not folding his high cards flat that are suited, especially. What what's that anomaly in the middle? King jack ten, king jack ten. Can oh yeah, king three three Broadway. You bet more. Uh, it depends on the the. Well, look at the King Jack 10 grouping. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Three Go, I think it's just uh I think it's just a function of how many draws. Like he should have some yeah. eight nine suited here. He should have some ten eight suited, should have some ten nine suited, some queen ten. Like there's just infinite combos that he's gonna be putting chips in here with. So big black button defends all the way down to king four suited at some frequency, king five's full frequency. Oh, Louis, um, look at the um, equity ace, lines. A7 off. It starts mixing. Okay, equity lines. So. See, yeah, see how our equity, equity runs equity, against. Equity should run very close here, right? That's going to be, yeah. I think, the equity running close is why we are probably playing high check. Now, there should be like an equity line graph. Yeah, you got it in the bar graph thing. We had seen it before. You have to change the um it's in ranges if you're oh, looking at the equity. Look graph. look at view chart. There um, it is. Yeah, it, there it is. So look how close it, it the runs. So, runs. That's that is the yep. cause. Hey, look at the buttons defending range. It's just like they we're, don't hold much. We're out of position with no um equity advantage well so it's like our value range collides right in the middle of his his calling range so like his defense range and our three betting range they're just like on top of each other we have like the nut advantage here like we have the pocket kings the pocket jacks the ace kings but he's got infinite draws and combo draws and you know, stuff yeah. that's going to be doing pretty well against like, like if we have a set of Kings or we have pocket aces here and he's got queen 10 of spades, you know, <laughs> I think he's a favorite at this point. Yeah. I'm just, this is a hand that I'm going to find in my uh, checking range on a three bet pot and I'm going to check, raise it and run <clears> it. <throat> What are you doing here, crazy? Uh -huh. We're gonna have some fun. He he just wants three bed pots. Actually, it's gonna be funnier than that. See this part of the deck here, like our polar three bed. Yeah, the trash. Yeah, the polar trash. Right. Like it's gonna be. It would be fun to see how we play turns with most of these. So from ten nine to ten six into. 
I mean, I three bet him, so I'd like to say it. It's gotta you gotta take better. take King Four suited out. Gotta get better playing him. I think this five. is I think this is a good idea, Louis. I don't yeah, I think you should just focus on the trash. I agree. I mean, because everyone knows how to play pocket aces post flop, but do you really know how to play queen six well, offsuit? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I was why I three bet just praying they fall and I hate when they call. I'm Speaking like, Speaking of right. queen six offsuit. That's I would, good. <laughs> I would three bet bluff these and they call. I just feel like I was bluffing and they four bet jammed and I fold it. That's how I. All right, Ken, anyway. take the, take the reins, the driver's seat. You three bet. You've made a mess. Clean your uh, mess see, up. What, definitely C bet in this one. Yep. What size? That's good. Small. <clears throat> now, what interesting me? Interests me. It's so fun. the two doesn't help me at all. I am giving up. Nah, man, it's such a brick, dude. You got to go again. And half queen six off here. You don't. You're not showing this down, man. You're gonna get fish tags the rest of your life. Make them pay. Uh, no, I'm not gonna have to show it down. I'm check folding. I think we have. When I check, they bet, and I'm like, okay, it's your hand. The two. Oh, it does check. I okay, can can this run? Can Theo? He checked. Uh, all right, we got a six. I'm all in. <laughs> queen high. What do we need to get? I think, hold on, before you click, do we have to jam to get king high <clears throat> fold? 30 I picks. say no. So I like picks. to go, I use where I use my small, like value block, like smaller bluffs, and then I could just fold. Like I could put 18 in and still have, what do I have, 13 ships left to battle with? I like 18. 18 here. Yeah. I'm jamming. You guys are I'm punting. Crazy. I'm actually punting. <laughs> so it's the lowest EV, but it's the lowest loss in EV bluff. Oh, uh, we got him. Okay. We got right. him with the best hand. Oh, is this ever a tweet? Bet? It's in yeah, here. I think it's gonna be in here at some frequency. Jesus Christ. If it's not a three bet, you need to learn some, you need to do some range construction work. <laughs> That's right. Uh, on That's right class with Peter. Half pot. Who's taking uh, this hand? Uh, whoever. I don't. I mean, why go out here, Ken? Uh, it's two Broadways, Ace Jack. You got middle pair though. I kind of like going smaller. I think. I like I check. To... I think I like check here. I ain't checking. No, it's an nice high board. I don't. Yeah, think we three bet. That's my only apprehension. I don't think you get to check on a ace jack. Yeah, we Bye. just we just saw the graphs. Yeah, yeah, he's got the he's got a lot of aces in. The equity room. doesn't run as close on an ace jack five board as yeah. it does. The it was other like one. ace king, to <laughs> ace king board. There's no direct interaction here. Like there's gut shots available, but you know, it was like ace king and king queen that were not so good. I mean, right. I'm not saying that this hand checks 100. percent It's pure check. But I'm willing to bet that there's some checks in. I believe you because we have a jack, right? But yeah, go for it. Oh, it's small. Yeah, that's what I would have bet five. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Now I'm now I'm playing check. Is it that easy? Yeah. Oh, I'm uh, checking. I'm blocking. I hate the river, but I'm checking. Yeah, you gotta check. It might, right? it might block, but I My like check. Oh. Oh. No, what, what? A, what a joker! What a joker! He hits his queen. What do you want to do? He ain't betting the queen. He has king king ten. ten. What a <clears> joker! <throat> All right, three bets. Somebody make a mess. We should guess the three bet frequency. We know these combos are three betting. We should try to figure out how often before we click three bet. All right. That seems like a fun exercise, Ken. Yeah, a little fun extra tidbit. <clears throat> the eight, I think, is primo for three betting. Twenty um, percent. See, I think it's more like ten percent. I think King. I would seven, say I was thinking thirty percent. King 20. seven is better. King eight is a lot more of a call. Gonna raise I, worse kings than this. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah. Actually, oh. it's a full frequency. Wow. King seven. Yeah. I thought we were only choosing three back combos. Well, we, we well, you I thought mean, wrong, Ken. Get this one he, out of there. He picked the region that they all the come from. Yeah. <clears throat> Check fold. 
Uh, hold if you on. have one, oh, if you, all right. If you got one, I think this is a good one. Calm down, Ken. Calm down. <laughs> I was never, how did you check a paired flop LP on a three? Oh, we didn't three bet. Never mind. We, we didn't three bet. I thought we three bet, guys. Yeah. Uh, bet small, maybe. No, no, no. no. Check King it out. Yeah. Yeah. Good Show enough. It. Show it down. Oh, it doesn't want to. Well, bluff raise. No, 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 no. We just fold. There was 0.3% all in. Damn, value betting is a sign. Yeah, you got you. All right. Three bet it sometimes. It's no. a 10. Okay. Mostly, mostly calls, I think. Yeah, yeah you're right. Ten, mostly it's calls. Nine. It's a nine. What? 10%, 11.5%, 11 whatever it was. That's a high frequency one. Ace high, we got a spade. I mean, a lot of supporting evidence for a five big blinds in the middle. Check this out. You ask me. No, five. I'm, no, I'm with no, five. No spade, we go nine. With a spade, we go five. I like that. I think that. Well, yeah. actually, man, that's kind of that's kind of crazy. Is it? Maybe it may be all right. It feels kind of scary. Why? Why is it scary? Because you got nada. Yeah, I mean, it's equally distributed. It seems like it actually likes to go bigger a little bit more when you have the spade. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Ten of spades. <clears throat> but, I mean, at the end of the day, you're, you're splitting hair. You could simplify your strategy. Yeah. This is a good one. I like this combo a lot. This 30% is... of the time, 40% of the time. There it is, 30. Uh, bet small. Five I big think... blinds. I agree. Five? I like five. Okay. Yeah. We're just stacking off here. We're never folding a king when we chose to three bet this and make top pair. So I would check. Yeah. I kind I of want to go. Does it ever go 50% here? I think you get. What, think what, what do you get? What what's your what's your goal here? I mean, I guess the fact that we have a spade's not great. He's going to have maybe some 10x that continued with like a back door, like jack 10 of hearts, maybe queen 10 of hearts that might continue here. You're digging deep. But with this SPR, I think you yeah. just go small again. I would honestly. Check. I would about middle pairs, eight, seven, or eight, sixes. It's a tricky spot. He could have a better king. We need to break small. and not fold. Yeah, the way I see it is if we check and let him bet, our hand has more equity against his betting range than his calling range. I agree. I go 25%. Oh. Nope, oh, it goes better. Yeah, so, yeah, top pair, uh, stack pot ratio one. Let's go. I'm kind of with Pete here. I think I just am going to barrel this off to oblivion. Okay. For... All in. Yeah, you got to just wrap it there, right? It won't let me check call. Oh, that's why I see. Yeah, okay. Ooh. So he's got spades. He's got a gutty. Like you're getting paid on the turn by this guy. That's right. That's right. So it's very important to do it. Hmm. I like three betting this one. Do I? I think the eight, the <clears throat> the weaker one's going to be a little more attractive, but this one's definitely in there. What's yeah, your guess? Eight percent. Uh, 30 percent yeah i was gonna say like no nah, i think 30 is too high <laughs> i was like yeah. i was like 60. yeah the nine right we have a we uh, have one pip under the like uh we attacked the, the, all of his like uh offsuit tens all of his offsuit nines but no it's, it's also an ace an offsuit ace that doesn't play fan you know, eat that easily post flop yeah, I agree, Ken. I agree with that. Um, King King seven. I like a small bet. I wouldn't be surprised to see some two. Yeah. Even. Yeah. That's a pretty good card to keep barreling. I think. I would check. Yeah. You got nah, nine of spades, I don't think so. so because the flush completed and we're the aggressor in a three bet pot. <clears throat> yeah, I mean you're right. We don't have a ton of flushes here, but the. The, I don't know if the paired king is kind of an overriding component here. For me, I think we already did our job here. We three bet, we see bet, he's still around. I mean, what are we going to do? You wanna no, no, I'm going to check. I'm not folding. I'm checking, but I'm not going to fold. Oh, it's an all, all in. No, now. all in. Yeah. 
Okay, and why? Savage. <clears throat> this is shit I'll never learn. Ken, I think it's there pretty it. easy, man. Like when you three bet and you got this nine of spades in your hand, and you got a and you got a board that coordinates with you as well as this. I think you just gotta find these things. I think it has something to do with the fact that the nine is over the seven and the eight, so it still has equity. Same for the ten, whereas the hand yeah. at the six doesn't have that. I mean, you're or also kind of blocking the continues, right? Like blocking nine ten, which is pretty good. Blocking they're still, most, king, they're still mostly checking, right? Uh, no, it was mostly jamming no. this combo. The, the, the ace nine in particular, but it's really nine X hands want to do something special that six hands are not doing. But hold on. If you have the ace, why is the heart change it? Uh, I don't know how influential the heart is. The heart and the diamond, uh, the heart, just the heart doesn't want to jam. Heart is a bad blocker here. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you're blocking his. The ace you're of heart. blocking the combos block. you want him to have, I guess. I mean, I think it's really just a function of like, if you do them all, you're probably doing it too much. I don't know if it's like there's something magical about the heart and the spade there that <clears throat> warrants a decrease in frequency. Maybe yeah. there is. Well, the, the heart the, is like the, the could be a backdoor flush. The, right. the ace of hearts will be contain a lot of the backdoor hearts that he's continuing on. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we should stuff it here with ace nine. And we, we just have we have, oh, look at this. <laughs> look at this. Did he call us? He Jeez. did. Right. With his uh with his pair and the nut flush redraw. Um low frequency three bet here. I think 20%. 30. Huh? We split hairs. Look at there, 25. Ooh, he got us. Not full. What's the worst ace you call there? Uh, that's a good question. Ace ten? Maybe ace nine? No, no, no. I think ace ace nine's a bit wide. I think it would be. I think it's going to mix ace ten. I think ace jack is a is a, like your it's no, ace jack's too good, right? Like you got to call ace jacks. So ace ten is the you make it based on your opponent. If opponent is from like Israel, you always call us time. Yeah, he's You're gonna right. show up with like eight five suited and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, same story here. I think you're gonna see like twenty percent frequency. Can we see the call off range? You want me to look at it for you real quick? Dude, it's just forty right big blinds. It's not the full street. You got to look at the one preflop. It's not this one. This is the King King Seven. It, it's preflop anyhow, so it doesn't matter what the board is. Right. So he just wants to see, like, if you three bet Ace Four off, Ace Nine, it, and uh, all right, and Ace Ten. So as cold. as Louis suggested, it the floor is Ace Ten, and you should make adjustments based on your opponent, which is correct. Um, higher frequency here, 40%. How about a rip? Mm, I think Ken's right. High frequency rip. Ken is crazy. You got to click the magic button again. Action. Action Jackson. Repeat hands. Yes. So we can just see. Click on preflop, so we'll see. There you go. Yeah. yeah 40% in all in. Which I means 100% for me. For me. <laughs> Good combo. I like three betting this one. 40%, oh, 30%. 30%. Yeah. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Two tone, 10, I five it. deuce. I kind of like a bigger can. bet here, too. I think I'm kind of in camp 50. I think this board is very dry for them. So we could probably go small. I think it's, it's like, going to be hard to defend. So I think we want to generate some more folds. I would go this. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, what did you do with Ace 10, with King 10, with Pocket Jacks, Pocket Queens? Yeah, we have a lot of vulnerable strength here. But no, it goes smaller checks. Look at that. 
just a dry flop. It's disconnected. I mean, the spades are make it somewhat, you know. This is a give up. White flagging this card. What yeah. about the king of spades? Yeah, I probably uh, uh, king of spades is an all in card. Is it all in? I think so. Ooh. Okay, yeah. All in, King of Spades. Fold, yeah. Can't win them all. <clears throat> um, Jack Six. I I don't think I've ever three bet this combo. Yeah, no. Eight percent. Eight percent. Four percent. Four. But might as well learn how to do it, right? All right, we don't have an over to the queen, which is kind of trash here. Well, um, most we, like do, five. we do have two overs to the five, though. Six, we're betting our six here, so a <clears throat> draw card, right? Yeah, we I'm going to implement the uh, three bet, C bet strategy here. We we're size up with the jack of spades. We're yeah. looking for low card runouts to keep bluffing. <clears throat> uh, not really. Yeah, it's just kind of whatever. Besides down with the jack of spades here. <clears throat> Other ones are betting big. More. The six is our key card on this flop, I think. Man, so the yeah. ace is pretty good for our three betting range. And we I'm have like win. absolutely trash here. I don't even know if we jam. I think we I think I'm we also take out Ken, like but I'm out because he Oh uh, yeah, I'm checking hundred percent. We're playing the six. High cards, we're not playing our jack at all here. When we but see about this flop of my the way I say it. We have, done we have three, five, six. Flop. So I think we're betting playing our six. I think our jacks are relevant unless we get lucky and hit it, and then we probably slow down. What's yeah, the I agree, Ken. But with the ace of spades, what does our range want to do, Ken? Well, Jack, the flush completed. Yeah, I mean it depends on what I mean, we play all parts of our range differently, right? The flush complete, we check, but it's an ace, and we're in a three bet pot with all the best aces. Yeah, I think that having the, I think this hand doesn't three bet a lot because having a jack's particularly bad. Like, like here we are on the turn, and we have a jack, which is like what we, we should be targeting. Like, it just. So with the spade, we go all in, or we bet small. Without the spade, we check. Yeah, yeah, it's equity that driven, makes... right? That seems to be the thing with all the garbage here. But not ace five. It's not a pair, ace four. It's a goodie, man. Yeah, okay. So the range kind of splits between small and all in here. And a pair. Kind of cool. Mostly all in. Yeah, I think it's just trying to protect the very top of the range because they're going to get more EV by betting small. So you don't we necessarily treat, want to generate folds. Yeah, so we can bet as a bluff with these high-low combos. We hit the flush draw, we bar, we see that, and when it completes on the turn, we just rip with our our flush blocker. Yep. I would almost uh, I would almost be willing to say like you could probably just remove Jack X high-low combos from this entire range. Yeah. Just don't ever three bet them. <laughs> I like it. I like it. You just play. Play the board, yeah, the right? jack, the jack particularly is like absolute. It's like a dumpster card. Like you want to target Jack X. <laughs> Usually, like if we're not targeting Jacks, what are we? What are we after here? Yeah. Like this dumpster. They fold a lot too. Though you're, you're ignoring the fold equity. They're folding. Just call this forty percent of their range. You're picking up the chips immediately. Forty percent of the time. We don't need to always three bet. We just want to play this range, right? Hey man, there there's plenty of offsuit ace kings and queens to use that logic with. I want a raise. Six. You know, this is not a bad raise combo, Louis. I kind of like raising this uh, hold one. Hold on, LP. Before you click, didn't you say the king, the aces? Yeah, so he's defending all the way down to king four suited. You got three straight, three flush. King uh, nine off, probably. Ken, we have a jack of spades. You got three straight, yeah, three flush. It. I can see it. Six, I'm six folding. interacts with the seven also. Just fold. We have a jack of right. spades. Super easy. Oh. 
Uh, you got to keep we, going, man. <laughs> did we pick up? I think we kind of did. You do, man. Like, two worst cards is the key cards for the button you said are the ace and the king, and you just want to keep bluffing off. Well, we picked up. You got a straight blocker, man. A 10 but, is in the box if we bet big. Uh, but Ken, we called. I think to be in the box for bet big. If it was a spade, we would just go bananas. Oh, wait. So you're going to lead bluff here then? You called flop. Or... No, we no, checked, we checked raised. raised. We checked raised. Oh, I'm a simple like, strategy. A simple I think I'm like is... 9.8. Oh, yeah. You check raise Definitely. and ever pick up equity. You should yeah, almost sure. always, almost always be betting. But this is. Check. Check eight. It's a check. A check. You're already going to get All straight. in. All yeah. in. You're going to get your own simplification, LP. You said the ace and the king are particularly bad. And they're both there. Why yeah, am I listening to you? Because Ken's talking and I'm talking. That's bold. And I'm talking convincingly at you. I like three betting this one. Yep. Three bet jamming. I think it's a large bet. So. It's two tone and it's nine ten in a three bet pot, pretty close to jack ten two tone. Um, I would not be surprised to see some shenanigans on a board like this. Fifty percent or seventy five. I like fifty. I, th I think Ooh. that one was too large. Two pure checks. Need a spade, I guess. Yeah, I need a spade to bet here. Ten nine is so, like one of the worst boards for us. So if you look at the uh, the solution, I bet it's going to be high frequency checks and very big bets on this type of texture. So like 40, 50 percent, almost 70 percent and Seven. very big bets. Yeah. This is the uh, this is what I would call the Jack 10 effect. But this exact combo never bets large. It's like barely even barreling a spade, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just the nature of the board. This uh, th this two tone middling board that really connects with his flatting range versus three bet. Like. Um, You so just we don't, don't just get the liberally buff. We gotta have some uh, pretty. Yeah, good you gotta activity. you gotta be respectful, right? Because his basically his entire flatting range is gonna call a small bet here. Most of his flatting range is gonna call a medium sized bet. So it's like, you know. All right. It's going quite mucho grande here. Oh, we check. And then he bets and we fold and we move on. Louie, can you add the random can you add the randomizer to it? What do you mean? There's a way to add a randomizer to the Yeah. 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 What do you want to do with a randomizer? Well, Randomized? if I'm think yeah, I'm thinking like if it's a 30% raise. We we use the randomizer to determine whether we're going to three bet or call. Yeah, but we all know how to play these hands as a call. We don't know how to play them very well as a three bet, right? Okay. Um, I think this is a high frequency call. No, 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 no. It still raises quite a bit, thirty percent, quite a bit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Seventy percent of the time, I can play this hand pretty well as a call. Thirty percent of the time is a raise, though. I like a bet small. Oh, bet large. Oh, bet large. Ish. Oof. Large ish. Oof, oof, oof. So I don't know how relevant the six is. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see some continued barreling here, but I kind of want to check. I surrender. Hey, side. Let's go to showdown. We got the heart. We, got we the do names. have the heart, but the queen is particularly bad. Okay. Yeah. Hey, side. Let's show down. Oh uh, man, this is call. this is. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Why do you want to call here, Pete? You want to get the nice? It's ten percent of the pot, man. Your ace high is going to wind oh. up defending here. I'm no, not, it's not. Not, not that this one. Not that low. I'm surprised. Ace well, it's jack, such a it's such a small bet. Man. Ace jack, ace I, ten, maybe. I guess that's oh, a problem. They block the, the they block his bluffs. You don't want to have a jack or a ten there. Brave. I like a raise. 25%. I think, I, yep, I'm with Ken. I concur, Ken. Look at that. GTO wizard. 
small bet. I wouldn't be surprised to see two and five here. Might check some. It, yeah. Never, huh? I've never seen a large bet like this on a monotone board. Yeah, it's rare, right? Well, if you look at the new advanced master class, they show that when well, on monotone boards, when no, I've already seen that. Yeah. Jonathan there are Jonathan's some... class has monotone boards is mostly check mostly bet small. The advanced class? Did you see the brand new advanced class? Yeah, Ken, the beta is out now. Uh, I've had it for a month. I haven't looked at it. Uh, yeah. Kenneth Keppel, how could you? I, I get to test that shit out. You get to test it, but you don't test it. <laughs> well, because they didn't actually ask. They, they gave it to us, but they didn't ask, actually ask us to test it this time. I um yeah we I like I like another barrel here, Louis. What do you think? Um jam. I don't mind a jam. I think a jam is reasonable. Flush draw, straight draw, no showdown, stuff the turkey. Thing is, we do have a gut check. And we do have a draw that is we basically have a draw that struggles against a racer. So I want to check and pray. Sometimes he checks back and we hit ribbit. I'm yeah. kind of going rip it here. Check. Right, yeah, that's not the heuristic we've seen you nip. Get it in there. There okay. you go. See these yeah, enough? Maybe I will actually start learning it. <laughs> there you go. Thirty percent of the time, every percent of the time. Every time. When you find three bets with you know your jack sevens and your tens and your ten sixes. You're gonna have to take some high risk lines. A five. That's true. I'm a five guy drive, here. Drive board. I know we got a marginal made, but I want to get like folds from queen tens and stuff like that. Yeah, but if we bet five, he's supposed to call a lot of queen tens. Oh, size up. Okay. Queen seven? I mean, I'm good for 25% here. I don't know about you guys. It's like a, yeah, it's a maybe 35%. Yeah. I'm calling. The I worst would, the queen, the worst the queen gets, the queen more it wants to bet. Five, like, no, queen seven, too. Okay, it's fine. Yeah. 17%. 17%. Queen okay. nine's too good. Queen eight's a little bit kind of in between. And I thought queen seven did it. The Half pot, let's go. It went small. We barrel it I'm all in. Stuff the turkey. Have Eat a it, fair Jack 10. Thought. It's a happy day. Eat it, Jack 10. All right, Race. 45% was it? Uh, it was It was in there enough. I, I like a call with this one. There you go, Joey. Check. It's got some attractive check race properties, but it's ace high, so I don't and think he went a little big race. now. And he went bigger. I think we folds. Yeah, I'm folding. S screw awesome. you, pocket deuces. Raise. Mm, cool. 25% of the time. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, this is a good bet. It's a bricky-ish board. We're blocking. A, we have a relevant flush blocker. I kind of, I don't know. What do you think? Five or five or ten big blinds. <clears throat> I think um, there there might even be some twos mixed in here. I think might it's be five or two because it's a purple. Might be some. 50. Yeah, he just doesn't have deuces though. I don't know how relevant the deuce is. Uh, uh, it's, it's it's a battle of of how many over pairs we three bet versus how many uh, aces and stuff that he has here. Hmm. Now, how do we play this card? Well, this is a brick. Out of our range. Yeah, this is a greatly a brick. I um, I think we still go. You go where? Um, You're going with this. You to pick the up cage to, to the cage to get a uh, another bullet to play the tournament again. What's the reasoning check? behind your bet here? <clears throat> well, the hands that we are typically betting on the flop in our value range are still um, beating pretty much everything on the turn. Okay. Like, how, how, what, what kind of 9x is the guy continuing with here, except for like 
Knight of Spades X. Maybe what do you I do with have... Ace King and Queen as Jack is ten that you see? Value bet. Value bet and everything small or checking. You know that's a good question, Louis. And I think I think you could still value bet the Ace Kings. Double barrel Ace High for value. Yeah, Ace King the and best Ace King double barrel for value. Ace Jack and Ace Ten will check. I think we could be in no man's land here, folks. Okay, it does bet again some, but checking is a very reasonable. Oh, you know why we bet again? Because we have to spade. Well, you know how it is, Darren. You know how it is. It was a small bet, LP. Yeah, let's get a small one in there. Now we're King's done. good for us. If we if we double barrel, we're all in here, right? I am raising the flag. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was a question. It wasn't. It was. It was a suggestion. It wasn't a suggestion. It was a question. Okay. 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 You win. Uh, Jack nine. This is in there good. sometimes. See, yeah. I mostly the, call. I'm always the, calling this. In fact, the ones that are connected, I like to call more than raise. Me too. I agree. Check raise. So, yeah, we can check raise this at some frequency, I think. What? Raise. So you got two overs. You're blocking two of the back doors. You got Not without the back straight. door flush. Not Just without raise. the back door You can raise fold if nah, you man, You can, three you can raise this it. one some. I'm fairly okay. confident. Four? I like call. Yeah. No, 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 no. Go six. Okay. Hundred percent call. Okay, call. <laughs> it's like with the backdoor flush, it would make a lot more sense. This is not a good one. I wonder. Yeah, maybe yeah, I'm stretching. Jack that. nine of spade is always a race. Oh no, hundred percent. The backdoor flushes are like not even in question. I, I'm yeah. stretching a bit here for yeah. sure. You just have two over card, man. Nothing going on. It's not good. I'm so, stretching a bit. You can call actually... for high cards. Now we gotta. Gotcha. It's an excellent check raise versus the guys that auto C bet 100% after they. I guess we fold because of sizing. Is there a size? Yeah. You, that you gotta, you gotta let this go, my man. You gotta do let we, it go. Do we ever rip it? One no, big blind you might call. You don't have enough equity. Yeah, so just a fold. Yeah, as I would, as I say sometimes, this combo is a logical expansion. Raise. Yeah, relax it. Oh. Okay, jerk off. I fold. You win. Nice hand. Uh, low frequency, maybe high frequency call. I, 20, I call this twenty percent raise, right? Maybe fifteen to twenty. Yeah, nailed it. That's small. Five. On the blind. Did we three bet? Five yeah. reduced. Five reduced. Uh, we don't need to really size up. Maybe we go seven and a half I or like 14. Yes. <clears throat> Se seven and a half is better for pot size. Now we go all in. Yep. Oh, look at all we those check. checks. <laughs> look at this sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Your favorite spot, Gavin. I, I hey, the by river. the way, I, I never I never three bet aggress aggress and check with my value. I don't have this node in my game. Do you not? When the SPR is this low, I, I can't find you, the check either. You might catch me three betting, betting, check, oh my check, God, check. We got cord. <laughs> what do you mean? You see this? You think you got cooler? Well, you did get cooler. Raise 40% of the time. All right, jerk off. I fold. Oh, this is just outside. Easy fold. Bail for me. It's a it's a call against some people. Low frequency raise, thirty percent. Okay, uh, he's you getting a little again. out of line now. This guy. Yeah, <laughs> what is this guy? Uh, do we ever check this? No. I like bet small. I like bet five. I'm just betting five here. I like posing the question though. Now we can play check. Yeah. We can F5. play check here. Uh -huh. You can get value from the single spade draws. Oh, oh, smaller. 
down bad. Yeah. Flush completed. Is that good for us or bad for us? Not Our so exact good. exact hand, it's not very good at all for so us. So you want to give him the chance to bluff. And you yep. do it by either checking or min betting. Do it again? I don't know, man. I kind of want to play. Um, call in? I, check call. I kind of want to do check sometimes here, to be honest. Nits? Yeah. All right. I like a raise. Nope. Yeah, I this like is the one we found earlier. I asked him to take it out. Yep, you're right. All right it's a play call. Yeah, this. I I think King Seven and King Eight are pure call. There's King Seven, King seven there, raises. Then it's King Eight, King Nine. There are two yeah. right next. I in the chart there are two right next to each other that are nope. pure call. King Nine for sure. Check, fold. You win. I okay. fold. All right now, I want to keep some time to review hands. You guys got hands. You got marks. Hmm. Oh. Let's look. I don't know. All right, let's look at this one quickly. So my question here is, is it too nitty to check the river? Too nitty to check the river? What did you do? You raised. Or, uh, he so raised, I called. Check bet small, sure. Call. So you're Turn. shallow and he didn't raise you. So that kind of drives down the queen X frequency a bit turn he checks you bet small again i think when you bet small in the turn man like he's got enough trash in here that uh it is too nitty like you didn't really polarize the turn much so i kind of like another small medium barrel i just don't think uh, he's got a lot okay. of queen x I here I just, he yeah. I'm in, I'm in the study group. you gave him uh two opportunities to yes. check raise you and he didn't take them yeah so you think if i bet small on this turn I should uh, bet more than nine, nine big blind on the river. I would, I, I kind of like maybe like a half pot or something, maybe and a it, little bit more. I think it, it needs to be in a value size, I would yeah. think. If you have a diamond, you do it anyway, or do, do you do it more without a diamond? Uh, it probably is more attractive maybe without a diamond because he's going to have some diamonds here, I guess. Maybe like Ace of yeah. Diamonds at four. Yeah, I think it's better without a diamond because it gives him more hands to call with that you're ahead. Uh, I mean, I don't find value. I, I don't bet that river. It looks like I haven't seen it. He, I didn't see the whole line. I struggle with those GGs, but if it, I mean, if there's bets and there's a queen on the board, I don't see a value bet on the river. So you go bet, bet. No, I think we're back. I called pre-flop. So that's already like, I'm, I think I'm going to treat that a lot. But this guy's in it. Yeah, I think uh, bet, bet. I think it's a two-street hand, right? You got a queen on the board. So, like, why do you want to turn tens into three streets? I don't. There's, there's no straights. There's no straights. The only better pair is, you know, I, I kind of. I think it's a little thin too. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, it's a little thinny not, not to get value on the river. Why? I think the one thing though about two, three, or, I do agree it's a two street hand, but the size of Louis' bets. Yeah, that's where I'm at too. Are, are really small. That's where I'm at. I think you bet it if you go, if you take this like small, small line. Like if he polarized the turn, it's definitely a check. Yeah, I agree too, hundred percent. And I don't think this is a hand you get to polarize the turn really with. Okay, so like, I should not do a double barrel. Yeah, well. yeah. So this is the goofy part, right? Double barreling. So, so you could play bet like river if it goes. If he checks river now, you get to probably bet river. Yeah, play like you got nine. Get, I think he gets to bet river. Well, if he does it though, and if he checks river, you get to bet again. Then I think you'll bet your yes. tens again. Oh, so that's where the value comes from with my hand. I check back the turn so that it's going to 
Yes. Bluff this is how this is how I play this. This is how I play this spot. Like I just bluff catch this a lot. Okay. But uh just Jay play it like you bet small again. Now I bet I'm supposed to value. So it's the yeah. two street thing. And overall, like if I bet two on the flop and ten on the river, it's like 12 big blinds. So it should be big. It's like it's good for two streets, right? But yeah, the line right. checking back the turn is better. That's a good bluff catcher, like they said. That's probably where you get a lot of value to checking. Yeah. Well, actually, if I check, it's going to block bet is a ace eight, like second pair of third goes check, check on the turn. And then I'm just going to uh, capture whatever he's bluffing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, check the turn. Makes sense. All right. I put a hand in the chat here. If you want to look at that, Peter's got one too. Bet call check. <clears throat> I bet small could size up, but we bet small. He calls. We polarize a little bit on the turn. He calls and donk jams over pot the river. Do we bluff catch? Yeah, of course. You got the ace of diamond, you got two pair. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think so. bluff catching here is probably good. Yeah. What would uh, what would the worst combo? This dude's be? out of line, I think. Well, he uh, yeah. I mean, he's sporting a, a a wonderful thirty-two from Brazil, and he turns his uh weak ace into a bluff. Probably not even an open in six max low jack because you get three bets so much. It's just a bad open, I think. Yeah, no, no. He's from the big blind. He the calls. Blind. So he it's calls a little, it's a open. little bit different. Yeah, he's there, out of line, a, for sure. So one of these guys is sitting out. Yeah, that's yeah. I think uh, Tiga is new to the table. I'm not sure though. Yeah, I like this play. You want to run it? You can look at it. I just thought maybe like I'm kind of curious where the line's drawn when we see something like this on the river. He's obviously out of line. I just don't. I wasn't sure if like you ever do this with a hand like that on the river. I haven't looked he, at it. Just so it went check. Bet call, check, bet call, and then he led all yep. in on all over. Yeah, so that's just, that's not good. That's definitely not good. If anything, he should check where he flop. Yeah. Well, I'm just thinking, like, if he ends up on the river with a flush, he might be doing this. Does he ever do it with 10x? I don't know. The seven blocker, I think the ace blocker would be way better than the seven blocker, but it's not. Oh, even, absolutely. It's not absolutely. available, really, right? So. Well, I think so you, he get. He gets to the river on it. I think he just determines that he's not winning a showdown. Like if he didn't have the eight, if there wasn't an eight, if he wasn't already paired and he just had the ace of diamonds, then it might be a lot better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, like, I want to throw a block bet in instead of jamming my whole stack. Right. I, I could see that maybe being a, um, a thing. Yeah. Be, because it's a one liner and you have the call with the straight he's gonna jam his flushes there on the river i like jamming flushes here on the river by the way pete like, another thing you, is you put 10x with a blocker in a horrible horrible situation uh yeah i was gonna say another thing is we do have all the all suit tens in our range as well so like it's not like we're lacking any straights here right so this is like a zero ev call and it really is independent of the um the diamond here it seems but it it does call and it it calls basically all these two pairs. It has a slightly better EV with diamonds, but it's calling with two pairs. Right. So what does his donk jamming range actually look like? But if you see here, there's a sliver of folding. Yep. So it's it's not like a slam dunk situation where we find cool. ourselves in. It's a four liner, right? So well, what's it what is he supposed to be doing? Yeah, that, the, I think that was also the other interesting his, question. Is. What is his shove range on the river? His shove range should be Flush. flushes and the ace of diamonds, probably. Well, how what about tens? He, what does he do with ten x? Tens check. So he does donk jam some ten x here. It looks like. 
Um, now, the, the oh, 10X is a bit smaller. He doesn't have a ton of jamming, it looks like. Um, yeah, the 10X is betting into the sub kind of 15. It's effectively a jam, right? Louis, go back to what is the ace eight? Can you slide it over so we can see the aces, the offsuit aces? Oh, that's a flush. They're out of they're out of view. Yeah, the A seven of the world, A seven offsuit. It's just not a thing, right? He's is just, he supposed to check raise that on the flop? I'm curious. Like I think he's probably check raising most of them on the flop. I'm guessing. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure. No, I think the kicker's too low to check raise on the flop. Poker tracker. All right, we got field of view issues. There we go. Nice. Raise. This is very capped. Don't know what this guy's calling with from 18 big blinds, but he does. I like betting very small. I like, no. Oh, is it the small blind? Yeah. Yeah, he's small blind. He called with 18 big blinds. From okay, yeah, it's blind. a bit small. Uh, I like keeping him on the hook. This is even a little bigger than I would have bet, but I think it's fine. I think yeah, it's good. I think it's Does good. we unblock the king and the queen? I can go for the bigger bet here. Reasonable, very reasonable. He just, he just had. Well, uh... I think the um, going smaller though just sets up a, a more. I would have like, a, like a better shovel in the river. The only reason good. I would go smaller here is because he is so capped at this point. Like he shouldn't have suited broadways here. He shouldn't have jack tens really. Like all that stuff should be jamming pre or folding. Um, so, I mean, this is like a weak, weak King X, maybe <clears throat> some kind of like eight X or something. This is 10, nine. It's a big you're blocking eights. 10, nine makes some sense. Yeah. I was surprised when I took the big bet sizing on the turn with what he shows up here with. I think to play this time. Okay. I am curious what he shows up with. Yeah. Ken had it. 10-9. He turned yeah, the double so this guy, belly just a and fish. paid a 66% bet with the Yeah, this, this guy is a fish. Yeah, yeah, mark him as a, a calling station. Yeah, like honestly, pre-flop, it's an atrocious call. The flop, you could justify it. The turn is way out of line. Like, he, he made some mistakes. Yeah. All right. You open jam 50 big blinds with the king. It's 20 big blind effective. Falls to me from a small blind. King five off. Is there any other good. pertinent information? 15, you said? Uh, it's getting uh, ICM ish. 20 is uh, too much, I think. It's too much. Maybe. Yeah, it's too much. You only really do this with like deuces and a couple of acer eggs. Yeah, maybe like if there was like some ICM ish stuff going on, you could maybe justify it. But um, I think like if this was ace five, it would be okay. I just. Well, so what do you guys do with king five and king six? I raise. I just raise. You just raise. Uh, uh, King lines. five I, is the bottom of my limp call range, I think. The offsuit trash. I'm just these high low combos. They, I, I exclude. They might be limps. They might be limps. So this is what are we looking at? Twenty. So I mean, it jams. Mixes. It mixes. It's not bad. Okay. Okay. But it's not. not bad. It's not, I'm doing this full frequency, so it's not good, right? Uh, yeah, and you're not, closer to like 22, so they might get edged out at 22. Yeah, the, the real question is, are you finding this with queen oh, six or? Well, it just, it it centralizes the, the behavior to like one combo here. Yeah. Yeah. So the king five is the good one, though. All right. And we, so lose, feels, we lose all the asex. Feels bad, but it's a bit of a thing. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's like a big, big blender by any means. Uh, you bet you get flat by Jans. Okay. Oh, high oh stakes, high I, I said red. this one because just because I played with Jans, I ran. Yeah. 10K, 10K reg. This guy is. Uh, he's you guys know this guy? guy? No. He knows the game very well. You don't know Jans, I ran? I don't play on that GG. He's a, he's a high stakes Euro reg. He's probably, I think he's like rated. One of the best in the world. Top yeah, top 10 in the world right now. Um, you check, we bet, we get a call. Um, big bet, that's of note. Do you think it's a big bet on the flop from out of position with an ace? 
I don't think you do a ton of big betting out of position, especially with a hand like this. You picked a reasonable board to find a, a bet, I think, like this uh, 10 8 3 2 yeah, He's three situation. betting 10 X suited, right? Yeah, I would prefer yeah. to be rainbow if you go larger sizing, also. What are what? Are, oh, what Ken. Are, <laughs> Ken, you have had coffee this morning? <laughs> Okay. I think so, uh, I think it, the two tone nature is going to drive down the sizing a bit. But and actually, this might be a check. And with this diamond, the ace of diamond, it probably it probably does want to bet. It's just a single diamond. We bet quite a bit out of position. Uh, he's not button, right? We lost it. No, he's like cut off or hijack. Yeah, so we got a decent bet free uh, C bet frequency actually. Come on! Oh my goodness, it's multi way. <laughs> Oh. Uh, just just ignore the last guy and let's just play it like it's heads up so we can see because that's probably I, I like the bet a lot less if it's multi-way by the way but yeah multi-way I'm not betting honestly it's a big blind range you can kind of discount this range a little bit although in the new advanced master class they say there's spots where you actually see bet more multi-way with certain combos than you would heads up so Super it's range. not a big bet so this being multi-way is definitely not a big bet. Yeah. If you make it rainbow, you might have some larger bets. But I think the fact that it is um, two-tone. I personally think I prefer checking there. I do prefer checking here. But it's yeah. fine. On the flop. Yeah. yeah. It's not It's not a mistake by any means. No. No, not at all. Um, what happened on the turn? I don't even know what happened on the check, turn. Check. You went check, check, check. I think check, check is good, especially since he called a big bet. Man, it's a nice on the river. You know, I think this is great. I, I like this bet. I think I like uh, a big bet here because hot and half. Never. He, he's gonna uh, have 4. some. 6. He's gonna have some value that continues here and bluff catches. See if it if it would have like this size, like a bit closer to pot, uh, maybe the all ins would be less used and this would be more. Maybe. But okay. Big bet. It's fine. Nine it, it into seems 12. like an okay hand. He probably just had like uh, diamonds or something that he was calling you with. Big bet. He got away with it. Yeah. Maybe a, maybe a jack nine or something. Yeah. All right. What is... Oh, this is Pete's hand. Uh, uh, what is this one? Oh, I reviewed it already. I I, I went through with the city. <sighs> so I raise preflop, button calls. We get this board on the board. I bet one big blind because it's monotone. He call. He raised me to three x. I call. Shenanigans. Uh no, this is okay. Kind of. You have the sims in your um DM. Hey, th by the way, this is you're betting out of position. Like you, you just don't bet out of position. Uh, it's good, actually. I was surprised. Is it? I, I, I was actually surprised, Galen. I ran it in Pio form with the bet sizes, and it's good. With the bet sizes. Got it. Well, it, well I guess it is. You raise them, there's a king on the flop. The king makes you want to bet because he's capped on his king range. Yeah, maybe so. The, I, I did some aggregated report work on this not too terribly long ago, and it's just like the overwhelming heuristic is on monotone boards. It just like nukes your your C betting at a position range. I think it was like 80% one big blind. I forget. He's got the Sims if he wants to pull them up. So oh, here's the flop strategy. So there's a little bit of one big betting with a bit of everything. Hey, Thanks. will you do me a, would you, would you do a favor and compare this to the GTO wizard output? So you say I gave him multiple bet sizes, so it could yeah. have some you get good choices. I gave him uh, one big blind and then 20, thirty percent, seventy percent. It's still mostly checking, even though it's betting some of every combination. It's still mostly a so, check. So that's the beauty of the one big blind bet. Yeah, yeah, you get to distribute your bets out a bit more, right? And then I thought it would polarize turns, and King. it didn't. I don't think, if I remember, it didn't. Polarizing turns after you get check raised on a monotone board seems crazy. Oh, we got check raised. It, it's not check raised. It's raised in position. The guy flatted behind him. Right. Okay. That's that's fair. You're right, Pete. So what is this like? Low jack or something? Another gun one versus button. 
I gotta look at Lou Jack. The flop is King Ten. <laughs> Deuce. All hearts. Okay, this looks very similar to the solution that you have here. So that's that's like passes the smell test, right? So that's good. Galen doesn't trust my Sims. Trust, but verify. <laughs> <laughs> can you uh, slide over so we can see the percentage of the bets and checks in Pio? We couldn't see the full screen. And Pio, this is a screenshot. Cam. Yeah, hit the scroll, the slider on the bottom. You to, I have no idea what hand we're talking about here, David. So we have river. Sorry, you don't have it all. How often does it check? Ah, sixty-five percent. We can't see. Okay, there it is. So, uh, and then bet we have one. a we have a bit of a smaller bet, right? Then yeah. GTO Wizards. So that makes sense. Yep, and I'm I'm cross comparing with Odin, and they only have thirty-three percent out of position, which drives down the betting frequency even further. So yeah. it's like. You know, you're checking 82% of the time to cross-reference that. So, yeah, that's the power of driving your bet sizing down. So, on the flop, it raises me. This is the solution against the raise. Yeah, you got to call. Like, it, it's call? just, yeah, it's definitely a no-brainer at that point. Yeah. Okay. And then on the turn, a 10 comes. <laughs> hey, this, is, this is your old ways, Louis. And... <laughs> Yeah, I regret you got, that. I, I think if you get raised on the on flop. The still a thing on okay. the phone. So this, yeah, is but, a, this is a donk. Yeah. One big blind donk. I, I think, but I the think thing check, is here, I need to like shove river. Checking has more value because it allows him to barrel. This, this is the silly part is the, the river back. The turn and the river are pretty silly, I think. Like, you, you let this guy off the hook, I think, where he's yeah. just like, yeah. I want to see what kind of shenanigans this guy's up to. I'll, I'll pay a big blind for that. Yeah. Look at this. On the river, all the cookies. Just shove it. Or checking. Yeah. Check or shove. That's, yeah, that's but it, value has. this is the time for Louis to get out of the line and 5x the pot. And yeah. he doesn't do it. And I don't do it. I missed it. <laughs> and he, here you are. I saved it. In front of all of the regs, not sure if is I'm Siberian, all these guys. You're on stream. Lorem's got you on stream doing these shenanigans. Yeah, one big blind. So you won eight big blinds with poor Burkind. Yeah, not very good, right? But if you look at the hand he calls me with on the <laughs> river, uh, mm, I don't know. I think he played it well. Like, I mean, if he has a, a hand to kind of like raise these shenanigans on the flop, he's got a pretty good combo. That's not just like value. Yeah. And then he's like got zero reason to ever raise you on the turn. And then he has to basically never be right to call the river. And Ace High is going to do that. Yeah. So. Yeah, he has to be right about 6% of the time. Yeah. Right. Which which ace is gonna an ace is gonna do that for so you. So I butchered the river fish. Yeah, I mean it's it's whatever. It's the old exploit. All right. Well, thanks a lot for watching, everybody.